Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, everybody doing? Thank you, thank you. I appreciate everybody. Uh, what's up, peoples? How y'all doing today? I hope everybody being blessed and having a wonderful, great day. I know it's been a while since I did True Talk, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get in this Bible so y'all can get some of that biblical motivation. And uh, welcome to True Talk. This is episode number seven, episode number seven, his will and not ours. So let's get straight to it, man. I appreciate everybody, first and foremost, for uh, supporting Golden Child Entertainment uh, TV, YouTube platform. Thank y'all for supporting all my platforms. And thank y'all for subscribing to my page. Uh, I am now at uh, 30, for subscribers so if you're not subscribing on the page please support the page go to China Entertain TV follow me on there subscribe bless that like button and uh, yeah I'm here let's get it let's get it popping uh, so today's episode welcome to another episode of true talk where you can get your biblical motivation and love peace and God on everything and get you some knowledge so you know, so you won't be lost out here so you can know how you should live according to God's word. So let's straight, let's jump, let's jump straight to it. I don't really have too much to say. I just want to say thank y'all again. So let me give y'all some of this love and peace. So his will and not ours own. And we're going to jump straight into Jeremiah 29, 11 for God. You know what I'm saying? His will and our, not ours. Um, Jeremiah 2 and 11 speaks and said, for I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord. Now, this guy is speaking. And he, you know, prophesying. He's speaking truth on him. He said the plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. So God's will is not our own. You know, we try to do things in our own ways, in our own wills, you know what I'm saying? Because God gave us a freedom to choose, but we have to learn and understand that it is never in our way that we should do anything or live according. And we should do everything in God's will by actually praying to God and asking him what is our next step into pleasing him. So it's not our will that we should choose or do anything without God's answer. But let's get straight into that. So God said he gives. So God said he declared that, you know, he already have a plan for your life already. God already said this to you. And then he said, I, I got a plan for you to prosper. So that's the that's a beautiful thing when you have uh, say if you have a God that loves you truly, where he say he going to have you prospering and you're you going to have a bright future. It's a blessing. So let's get straight into the next chapter. So the next chapter, it says Timothy is going to be first Timothy, uh, second chapter three through four. And it said, this is good and pleasant to God, our savior. That was the third verse. Fourth verse said, who wants all people to save, right? To be saved. He wants all people to be saved. So that's that's God's will. His God's will is for people to be saved. And that, that's a beautiful thing. And I and I, I vouch for people to get to know Jesus Christ and to get baptized and accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Um, but that's that's his will. He wants you to be saved. And the scripture goes on right here in, in verse 4. It said, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. So God loves us so much. He wants you to not only be saved, but to have knowledge and truth. You know what I'm saying? On how you actually are supposed to live according to his will, not yours. You got to understand it is never about us. We think so, and then the devil tricks us to think that everything should be done our way, but it don't work like that. Yeah. We'll get on to that. That'd be another chapter. That'd be another subject. Let's keep on moving on. Uh, we're going to check it in, in your Bibles. Basing this trust before leaving earth. 
I always say this every time, every episode, y'all already know. If you don't have the Bible, download it on your Apple Store, or you can go download it on Google Play. And there, you can look up Bible. It, it could be the KBG Bible. Uh, it could be the NKG. I mean, NKJ V Bible. But just download the Bible so you can do some knowledge. God said my people prepare for my lack of knowledge. So let's get some of this knowledge. Let's get some of this biblical motivation. Let's get some of this spirit food. And let's feed the body. Feed the, feed the body. Um, so let's get into this. Thessalonians 4 and 3. It, it is God's will that you should be sanctified. And this, this is a deep one right here. It said that you should be sanctified and that you should avoid sexual immortality. Mm. That's deep. Mm. What, what did I say? Now, we all, a lot of us don't know about this and some of us that do know about this. So God wants you to really save yourself until you actually get married. But within the society that we live in, because the things we have seen or the environment we get caught, never knowing that God wants us to be purified. We really basically keep our bodies uh, sanctified without doing anything as of uh, sexual content, you know, or messing around or touching or anything of that nature. So that's deep. So. God don't want you to be in sexual mortality and tell you. So if you get married, then it's meant for you, you know what I'm saying, to have that wife or whatever. But uh, we're going to get rid of that. And that's another subject we have to get on another time. So, you know, stay tuned to that. So I'm going to give y'all devotion. So the devotion says, seek God's will and his plans for your life through obedience, prayer, and listen to the Holy Spirit. So God wants us to pray for everything, every answer, I mean, for the whole thing, uh, because that's just how we should live. God wants us to be holy, and he wants us to live by his name, being obedient. So let's go ahead and let God do his will, and let us not try to do things of our own understanding. So. This was episode seven, and this was his will and not ours. I hope y'all like the message. Continue to get in y'all Bible, study, and pray hard, y'all. Pray for everything. Pray for the things that you might think is small, but it's big to God. And y'all have a blessed one. And go follow me on Go to Child Entertainment. Subscribe, bless that like button. And this was your boy Tweez. Peace.